Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to insert and delete rows in Postgres. For this example, I've already created a dummy database with a table called users. We can inspect the table using the backslash do meta command. To add a new row to our users table, we use the insert command. The insert command expects a table name and a comma separated list of values for our column data. By default, if no list of column names is given to the insert command, the values provided are inserted in the columns in their declared order. If we want to change the order or omit the columns, we specify to the insert command the columns that we are sending. We can also insert multiple rows at once by providing a comma separated list of column values. During insertion, Postgres will try to automatically convert values that are not the intended type for any columns. For an example, let's pass a string to our integer column. By querying for our new user, we can see that the age was properly converted to an integer. If Postgres isn't able to automatically convert the value for our column, it will throw an error. Postgres easily allows us to see the data inserted into our tables with the non-standard returning extension. We can use this extension by appending returning and the column names we want, or just star for all columns, to our insert command, like so. To delete rows from our table, we use the delete command. The delete command allows us to use a WHERE clause to select the rows we want to delete. So if we wanted to delete all users named Sam, we could say, The returning extension that we used earlier can also be used on delete commands so we can see the rows that were deleted. Let's use this and try to delete all of our users over the age of 50. If our goal is to completely remove all users from our table, we simply omit the WHERE clause on our delete statement. If we now try to pull data from our table, we can see that it's empty. Thanks for watching.